snowshoeing today, and I'd like to welcome you to Tent Angler's Tip of the Week. Take it away, John. Hey there guys, John here of course, and today we're going to be talking about water of all things. Uh, more specifically, uh, do-it-yourself emergency backup water filtration slash purification kit that you can use to supplement your primary water purification device. Now, for those of us that spend time in the backcountry, particularly on multi-day excursions, we know uh, that there's a limit to the amount of water that we can carry along with us. And so we'll typically bring along a uh, water purification device such as this to ensure that we have uh, a source of uh, fresh, clean, safe drinking water while out in these remote locations. Now unfortunately, like any other piece of gear or equipment, these things are prone to failure. And so it's always a very wise idea to carry along a backup for something as critical as water, obtaining safe drinking water. Now, there's many options out there. The one that I wanted to show you guys, as I mentioned, is a DIY version of that. And uh, it's this little fella right here. Now, what this is, is just a simple uh, medication prescription pill bottle. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys this really quick, uh, kind of give instructions along the way here. We'll probably do some overlays to show you how it's made so you can make one yourself, as well as how effective this thing actually is. So uh, let's just break it apart and see what we have here. Uh, first thing uh, inside the bottle, what we'll find is a bottle cap. Now this is just a water bottle cap. You can use a soda bottle cap, some, something of that nature, uh, just as long as it fits nice and snugly inside of your pill bottle. And uh, next we have a small packet of uh, water purification tablets. And of course you can use whatever type that uh, you are most comfortable with, uh, that you feel safest using, that you're most familiar with. Uh, in fact, I'd recommend that. And uh, going down in here, we have uh, just some standard cotton balls. Now, we'll get to the reason for those in a second here um, as we explain the device and actually demonstrate it. And at the bottom of the kit, uh, we find another uh, basically, well, it is identical water or water ball cap. Now, as I said, you can use a soda cap, it doesn't matter as long as it fits snugly. Now, the difference between these two, as you can see, this one has multiple holes in it. Now, uh, what we do with this, uh, as simple as drilling some holes, guys. Uh, I use a 1 8 drill bit to drill the holes in the bottom of this. You can use a push pin that's been heated up to simply melt the holes in it. Uh, but the main uh, purpose here is to uh, put enough holes in there to allow water to effectively pass through this uh, particular cap. Now, in the bottom of the container, uh, as you can see up close here, we've actually got a fairly decent sized hole uh, that's been cut out into the bottom of the prescription pill bottle. And uh, what we did here is just simply uh, scored out that with a razor blade. You can use a drill bit if you have one that's big enough. But uh, just get a decent sized hole in the bottom of your cap there, preferably one that you can insert a finger in. And um, Next, to be able to use this, simply insert the cap with the holes in it into the container, press it down uh, firmly all the way to the bottom of the container, and next you'll take your uh, cotton balls, kind of fluff them up just a little bit so that they uh, fit nice and snugly, in, uh, nice and snug rather, I don't think snugly is a word, but uh, just so that they fit nice and snug down into the bottle. And we'll actually just put three of those in this one. Now, uh, that's about as simple as it is there. And what this is going to allow us to do is to uh, pour water in here and filter the water uh, through the cotton material and into a clean drinking vessel, whether that's our Nalgene bottle or platypus, whatever the case may be. Now, at this point, you may be asking yourself, why not just use a simple bandana or your t-shirt or something like that if you are obtaining water from a water source that is, uh, you know, murky, dirty, filled with debris. Um, 
And the answer to that is really simple, is you obviously can. Uh, a bandana is going to filter out the majority of the bigger particles in the water. Now, when you're dealing with a, um, you know, a dirty water source, it's not going to catch all of the finer particles. You're going to end up with uh, murky, uh, dirty, muddy looking water uh, just use, utilizing a bandana. It is porous um, and, you know, it's one ply. And with this method, you actually have a lot more material uh, that's actually uh, denser that the water has to pass through thereby filtering out more of the particles, more of the finer sediments, leaving you with uh, much cleaner, clearer drinking water. And uh, to that end, once you have your uh, primary uh, water source filled, you can then go ahead and take your uh, water tabs, uh, your water purification, whatever it is that you use, uh, simply dump that into uh, the clean water that you now have filtered, allow it to sit for the recommended amount of time, making sure that it is indeed safe to drink and has killed all the pathogens and any bacteria that may make you sick. And uh, it's really as simple as that. And that will see you through in the event that your primary uh, water uh, filtration purification device does fail in the backcountry, you still will be able to have uh, fairly clean and definitely safe drinking water out there in the backcountry. Well, that's about all we got for this week, guys. Now, before we wrap up here, I would like to thank Chris over at Inspired by Life for taking the time while he was out on an epic, fun, backcountry snowshoeing adventure to film the intro for this week's tip of the week. In fact, I highly recommend going over and checking out his channel. He has more footage of that trip over there as well as some amazing videos. He's actually a professional videographer so you can expect some high quality stuff over there as well as as his uh, channel name does suggest some very inspiring videos. In fact, uh, his channel is quickly becoming one of my personal favorites. Uh, just some really great stuff over there so definitely check him out. And um, that's about all I got, guys. So until next time, I just want to say, as always, thank you so much for your support. Uh, it means a lot. You guys get out, enjoy as much as you can, take the best care, and we'll be seeing you soon.